some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Anchorage, Alaska, where a frauditor by that goes by the name of Alaska Audits is wanting his story put out there by the real press. Yeah, the guy who tried to tamper with the crime scene and got shoved away by a security guard then later pushed out of the crime scene area by a actual cop wants to whine, cry, and complain to the real press. But you know what? He gets ignored. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy watching this uh, whiny crybaby. Uh, wonder why nobody wants to listen to him. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Hey, so, um, are you guys to uh, like tell people what's going on with uh, PSL and um, the incident that happened? Yeah. Oh. Uh, so you're a reporter? Yeah. Are you a reporter? Oh, I actually, I had an officer, he used excessive force on me not too long ago. But um, yeah, I'd be happy to tell you guys a story. Oh yeah, dude, go ahead and tell the thrilling story of how you bravely walked into the field of fire to recover a weapon from a crime scene and give it to the officers on the scene, completely disregarding uh, crime scene investigation techniques and everything like that, not to mention violating Alaskan law uh, regarding that kind of thing, you moron. Yeah, tell them all about that. Okay, well, no, I mean, like, we could go chat and sit down and, yeah. Okay, I'll give you my email and I'll have to call up. Okay, what's your email? Do you have a card? Do you have a card? Don't me. Could you write it down? <laughs> yes, actually, that officer, I have it all on video. He grabbed and shoved me. It was crazy. Oh yeah, he grabbed and shoved you all right because you didn't have the, uh, well, uh, intelligence to walk away from a active crime scene where there had been a shooting that took place only moments before. You remember? Just moments after uh, that other security guard made sure you weren't going to tamper with evidence? Yeah, dude. Yeah, go ahead and tell your tale of stupidity. Oh, yeah. And a Value Village coupon, just for you. Yeah, that'll do. So, and then um, the manager reviews the stories and um, decides if they like this one or um, or does it go directly to you or? It kind of depends on the story. Uh, this is probably a bit manager, yeah. Okay. Okay, so basically what happened was I turned the cell phone off, it stops recording. And then I'm just like, he read, he like wrote it so bad, like worse than my handwriting, I couldn't even read it. And then I turned the camera off and then they really didn't care, so I was just like, oh, okay, see ya, thank you, bye. So basically, what that means is, if you, the cops violate your rights, if you've been assaulted, the mainstream media is not going to cover it. Oh, that's how you see it. You know, it's funny how many, uh, Times I've seen uh, stories in the mainstream media uh, about uh, other people getting, uh, well, far worse than what you did and uh, getting a lot more airtime. So basically what we have here is somebody who's so extremely butthurt about getting a slight touch from a police officer and he equates that to a savage beatdown and uh, wants to uh, get on the news and everything like that. 
Dude, your story is not exactly newsworthy. You tried to tamper with evidence. You got shoved by a security guard out of the way so it wouldn't happen. And a few minutes later, you were still in the area, so a police officer moved you out of the area. It's not as if you were, well, really hurt. Now, were you? Well, maybe your uh, fragile, frauded or ego got hurt, but that's uh, really nothing in the grand scheme of things, you gibbering idiot. And that's, every time I see them from now on, I'll be like, Hey, oh, um, yeah, I had this police officer, blah, 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 it's on video. Would you, would you like to get this story of interest to the public? And it'll be the same thing every time. They're not going to cover it, literally. So if they're not going to cover it, so I'm going to cover it. So if you guys... Uh, if your rights have been violated or you've been attacked and stuff like that, hey, let's hear your story. If you got it on video, ooh, that is the best. But not all the times you get everything on video, not even me. So, and if you guys are scared to speak out, like the cops are going to target you or something like that, I'll blur you and your voice will um, do whatever they do to um, how they alter it. Oh, you don't know how to do that? Uh, okay, let me educate you on how I do it in Caden Live. I go to this screen up here, search for pitch, and then I apply it to the audio video track down below and go over here to search for the p perfect pitch that I would like to uh, use for you. But Frauditor, if you're still confused about that, refer to Black's Law Dictionary. I mean, it doesn't exactly help in this scenario, but it never helps out uh, in any scenario that you guys try to use it in. If you're scared. So, I mean, I'll do it. I'll get you guys a story out there. Um, I'm going to put my email in below. So, on TikTok, you guys can just message me. Well, who would want to uh, message a gibbering moron like you, considering that you were the one who instigated the whole damn thing to begin with by being a complete douchebag moron and trying to corrupt a crime scene? Uh, yeah, there you go, genius. Uh, yeah, educate the world on what a, uh, well, total frauditor you are. That way, people will understand uh, why they should avoid you to begin with. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?